Egashira Niji Gojubun is without a doubt one of the most vulgar and obscene comedians on Japanese TV. Known for abnormally high energy and doing some of the most shocking gags on TV, he has been voted the most hated talent in Japan several times. On the flip side, he's also received very positive commendations. Let's take a look at how he got there. After graduating high school, Egashida was accepted into this university to study economics in 1984. During his first week of classes, he had a sudden change of heart and dropped out. He worked several odd jobs before finally deciding to move to Tokyo to pursue his dream of becoming a comedian. He had hoped to get into the same talent agency as Beat Takeshi, Ota Pro, but was rejected. He struggled for four years before he was finally accepted into Okawa Kogyo in 1988. He went by the name of Batten Egashira since he admired a local Kyushu comedian, Batten Arakawa, before he adopted his current name. Which comes from the statement, During a night of drinking, it's safe to say that I'll go on a rampage after 2.50. He formed a comedy duo but it quickly disbanded before gaining any fame. And Egashida teamed up with Konta Kinte in 1990 to form the duo Otokodoshi. They gained a lot of fame on Tamori's program and made regular appearances. However, most of that fame was directed at Egashida and they officially disbanded in 1998. Konta has stated that he wanted to pursue a career in acting, to which Egashida said, Go and become an actor that'll make me gasp with envy. Before their disbanding, in February of 1997, Egashida gained international infamy. He was tasked by this show to go to Turkey to do a report on oil wrestling. While there, the show's staff had planned him to perform his Zazen Nawatobi gag, which went over surprisingly well. Overly confident, Egashida decided to extend his performance and did a few more gags, which didn't go over well. Panicked, Egashida resorted to getting nude and performing this gag, which enraged the crowd. Fearing for Egashida's safety, he was quickly hid in the men's restroom. Police escorted him out of the building, and he was fined for his act of public indecency. Egashida had done something extremely foolish, but in his defense, the show's producers could have stopped him before enraging the crowd. This wouldn't be the last time his nudity would land him in hot water, though. A wardrobe malfunction at a promotional event for his DVD at Tower Records in 2013 made national headlines. He continued to appear on TV, but was never given his own TV show. Appearances on Mecha Ike and a few other shows have also revealed that off-camera, he's a very respectful and humble guy and several comedians have stated they're fans of him because deep down, he's just really a nice guy. This was proven in 2011, after Japan's massive earthquake and tsunami. Egashida took out a loan, rented a truck, bought water and daily necessities at a Costco, and distributed them to people in need in Fukushima. He tried to hide his identity, but was discovered by news staff on the scene. He said, I don't have a lot of money, but I am able-bodied, so I just did what I could do. Anyway, what I find admirable about him is his earnestness in wanting to entertain people. In interviews, he said some rather inspiring stuff, and it sounds like he wants people who are going through hard times to think, well, at least I'm not that guy. Another thing that I think is admirable about him is how he always gives 120% in everything he does. I personally think it's his go big or go home kind of attitude that resonates with some people. Egashida has had a long career. 
And though he never achieved superstar status in the mainstream, his face and music are instantly recognizable in Japan. He's in his 50s now, but he's still performing. And I'm looking forward to, and slightly fearful of, seeing what he does in the future. Fun fact time. His father runs a liquor store in his hometown of Saga Prefecture. And sometime in the late 90s and early 2000s, he began performing as Egashida Niji Yonju Gofun at local events in Saga. Egashida supported Japanese wrestler Yoshida Saori at the 2008 Olympic Games. This wasn't for a TV show or anything. This was all privately done by him. He came back for the Olympic Games in 2012, this time wearing a suit with the words Ega Sock, which parodies Aslock, a security company which Yoshida Saudi has done commercials for. Aslock actually made a statement regarding this, which read, We'd like to thank you for your support, but honestly, it's a little weird. NEDM?